Hello beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your Mars in Retrograde reading. And happy birthday again to all of you beautiful Virgos. So this is your Mars in Retrograde reading. I just felt guided to take a look at the energy for you. Mars is in retrograde until November. And it goes into retrograde every two years. So I felt really guided to talk about what it means for you and what are some of the messages that you need to hear. Guidance, healing, spiritual growth messages, romance messages, whatever needs to come through. We will talk about, as you guys know, we just go with the flow. So this is the Goddess Oracle deck. Let's talk to the goddesses and then we'll do a short mini reading for you. Okay. For Virgo, wow, you have here the future, number 46, which is also number 10. Some of you may have some insight into your future. I'm seeing lots of energy here, kind of, it almost feels, I was, um, it's, it's just really mystical. Lots of energy. You could be seeing auras for some of you. Um, I feel like for some of you, you could see a vision of your future. For some of you, you might see a vision of your future. Okay, let's um, see some other messages. You have here knowledge. Wow, lots of blue energy, throat chakra energy expansion energy the in-between oh Virgo as we continue to talk about Virgos experiencing the end and the beginning at the same time and the vortex reading that we had and you being in the in-between of it all of your ending and your beginning and look at this the in-between And then at the bottom of the deck, you have here romantic love. Okay, so we'll get to that. We'll talk about anything romance related that we need to discuss here, okay? Wow. Um, I'm seeing specifically an anklet for some of you. Some of you be, may be wearing an anklet or are thinking of purchasing one but i'm seeing an anklet okay that's for some of you out there i am also seeing a tattoo of an owl okay i'm seeing a lot of owls i'm seeing a lot of nighttime for some reason there's a lot of visions that are coming to you about your future while you are in this in-between wow okay powerful so i think because a lot of you are still in the in-between experiencing the end and the beginning at the same time a lot of you are getting out of that and stepping forward into your new beginning i feel like while you're experiencing both worlds <laughs> at the same time what's happening is in, in the in-between i feel like you see a glimpse of the future you see a glimpse of your future in your new beginning of what it may look like or what you want to co-create um maybe this is your imagination but i feel like it's a vision like you see something clear as day or maybe you intuitively feel something as well about your future i'm also i just heard a promised future a promise, a promised future. And here you have the Ace of Pentacles, abundance, a new beginning. Okay, I love that. One. So here you have with the future, it's number 46. We have your knowledge, number five. The in between is number 19, which is another 10. So you have 10, 10. You could be seeing 10, 10, and we have two. Um, and then we have here one. Okay, so I feel like you could be seeing a lot of 111 and 10-10, completion and renewal energy. I love this 
new beginning here for you coming out ace of pentacles and as this came out i heard a promised future this is a promise this is this beautiful elegant this is gentleness as well be gentle with yourself at this time especially when mars is in retrograde be very very gentle with yourself make sure to nurture yourself get back to yourself okay take lots of rest oh my god i feel like i'm gonna cry i don't know why <laughs> um because i feel like you know what i just saw oh man I just got an overwhelming sense of emotion talking about this or thinking about and talking about it. Um, so I saw someone looking at this rock, not seeing anything, but then you hear something in the distance and then up comes through this elegant, gentle energy. And here you have the sun illuminating this beautiful deer stag. And it's just coming up onto the rock. It's like this beautiful promise, this beautiful gentle energy about this new beginning. <sighs> so much gentle energy. Wow, you have here the world. Look at this. You are, um, oh, I like, I feel like I can't talk fast enough. You are unlocking something here. Do you see how this is aligned? You know what's really interesting is this is solar eclipse. I'm seeing solar eclipse energy when the moon, the sun, and the earth align. I'm seeing that alignment here. And look at this opportunity, this new beginning that you are reaching that you are unlocking look at that energy this color here same color in this card that's your new beginning that you are unlocking that's your future do you see that that's the future right here that's the door to the future okay let's see It's another seven. Oh, I don't know why I said another seven. I could be seeing seven, seven, seven. Eight of fire. Let's get all your cards out. King of earth. Two of earth. You have here you have here the ace of fire so you have here two aces and there's another one that flipped oh there's three that flipped out you have here the chariot you have here the fool You have here eight of cups, three of earth, you have your six of air, two of swords, queen of swords, one second, <laughs> magician, another one, so you have three ones here, ace, a fire, ace of earth, magician energy. One, one, one. Strong manifestation energy, strong intentions here that are being heard from the universe, by the universe, your angels, your guides. Hearing you, listening to you, calling you. Pick up. <laughs> I just sort of pick up. It's like your future is calling you. And then you pick up the phone, you hear it. That's like that message here. Someone is seeing something. 
I don't know why I'm feeling similar energies here. Seeing your future, seeing or hearing something, knowledge about your future. So again, this could be an intuitive feeling, may not be a vision. Some of you it is a vision. It's interesting because Aphrodite is here with romantic love. And I feel like this is something that is um, being forged and created on the way to you. Do you see here with the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups energy? This is the boat that has landed, that is on the way to you, that you see in the future, that you see in the far distance. So this future could be two days from now <laughs> this could be right around the corner the future doesn't have to be you know three six a year from now it can be tomorrow okay so it really depends on your timeline and your your and your journey okay i feel like this is this romantic love energy this romance that's on the way to you here okay I'm seeing um, I'm seeing the King of Earth, Queen of Air. Okay, take what resonates to you. I feel like you are this King of Pentacles energy. That strong, determined. Feet in the ground, rooted, well manifested energy. I I feel like whoever is on the way to you is the the embodying the Queen of Swords energy, because they were in the pile of the Six of Swords, Two of Swords. Okay. It's interesting because with this person, I see them selecting or choosing a path that they are newly going into as well. They are also doing an in-between, just like you. You are doing an in-between between vortexes and chaos and the end and the beginning at the same time. And they have a different in-between. Maybe they're at a fork in the road, but they're also doing an in-between. Okay, there's mirror imagery here that I'm seeing with energy. And again, you have here two of earth. So again, this is, see how, do you see this energy? How this person is doing the in-between? And you are also doing the in-between with the two of pentacles. They're doing it with the two of swords. Do you see that? That's how I'm seeing the energy as being mirrored, okay? You may know this person, you may not. Depending on where you are in your timeline, you may know of them. <laughs> you may have just met them or you may be meeting them in the future, in the near future. Maybe your relationship will be more... Um, cultivated and secure and committed in the future okay in the near future this is this also look at this three of earth energy this person is doing this looking out into the far distance do you see that seeing something looking afar you see something or you intuitively feel something i'm feeling let me tell you some of the prominent energies here pisces cancer libra gemini aquarius another virgo i'm strongly feeling another virgo but it can be any sign
see what's so interesting is as you both of you have this mirror of you know doing the in-between dance <laughs> there once you come out of that you're gonna have zero and then one and I like that. So you have your zero and then you have two aces and the magician at one. It's almost like this call to action. This, remember how I was feeling all of these guides and ancestors and beings welcoming you at the door? It's like they're the ones blowing the horn and calling you after you exit um, the vortex or exit the in-between and you are on your new beginning path now. You are, you've unlocked your new beginning and you're stepping forward here. It's like, this is the greeting this is the greeting. They're calling you. This is the greeting. Hello. <laughs> and this is you on the chariot moving to your new beginning. You know what's really interesting? I'm also hearing access here with the world. Something that you are accessing. It's like as soon as you access, like you open this door that's when spirit is you know blowing the horn and saying oh they're here they're in their new beginning and there's you on your chariot going into your new beginning and there it is where you will meet this person and cultivate a new life for yourself not only you know will you meet this person or if you have already met them, you're going to grow a relationship. But aside from romance and this person, you're going to have more expansive energy. You're going to have new passions ignite. You're going to unlock gifts, unlock talents. Un you're, it's like I see someone opening cupboards. So it's like you're discovering um, new things about yourself. You are unlocking all, like unlocking mystery, unlocking something that has been, you know, locked away. The future is locked away, but it is there. And now you're opening that door and you're welcoming it in and stepping into it and discovering all of your abilities and what you can do and what you can accomplish next. And what's next for me? And what's next for me? It's that kind of energy that just kind of starts rolling and creates a beautiful domino effect. I feel like right now for your Mars in retrograde energy, the message for you is a promised future. An exit. <laughs> an exit out of the in-between. That you will exit and you will unlock and access the future more your new beginning right now it's so important to continue to rest continue to do what you have to do continue to ground your energy that is so important for you during this time okay so virgo this was your reading i hope it resonated with you i'm sending you so much love light and protection thank you so much for watching and happy birthday again